The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Welcome once again to our uh, daily Bible study of the uh, Vic Balbidu Evangelistic Ministry through the YouTube. Now, this is bilingual, mixed with Visayan, Cebuano, and English. Una sa tanan, ang nag-unag yun nga ing nunta tumong Meaning, our ministry, the main thrusts of this ministry is number one, to bring and proclaim the gospel, the good news of salvation to all those who have ears to hear and have hearts to use to believe in. Number two, to teach God's truths, Bible doctrine, itudlo ang kamatuuran ngadto sa mga magtuto for their spiritual edification and growth sa ilang spiritual ng panginabuhi. Ang ikatulo, to not persuade its listeners, mga subscribers, to join some religious groups, no, but to bring them to realize the importance of God's Word in their life and to believe it before it is forever too late. Sumaw kini ang tulo ka nag-una. Nga tahas, hininunta, o tumong ni ining atong ministry. Now, today we have hininunta, uh, uh, another lesson which we are going to take up. The title of which, The Savior Worth Having. Abrihing imong Biblia diha sa mga buhat, Kapitulo 4, Versikulo 12. Kini na ka na yun sa in English, basahon ako sa in English. Neither is there salvation on any other under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. O uh, may kalabutan o sabi ni ini, basahan o sabi ang Hosea chapter 13, verse 4. Usab diya sa Isaiah 43, verse 11. Now, the Savior we have, ang atong manluluas, ang atong gidangwat, as a ginoy sa Kristo. The Savior we have is one of a kind. He cannot be duplicated. Dili. He is the Savior worth having. He cannot be replaced or substituted. There is no alternative. This is wonderful news, di ba? Tungod kay, oftentimes, when you get people's choice, there is a chance that they could choose the wrong option. Apan ang mayong balita mo kini, Because there is no alternative when it comes to salvation for each and every person that needs deliverance from sin, there is one who can save. For each and every person who needs the uh, fame of their past erased, there is one who can go into your yesterdays and take them away. For each and every person who needs the way of guilt lifted up to their shoulders, the chains of bondage broken off of their life to be set free today. Karon. Do na lamay usa who sets free and who's the son or whose son sets free 
is free indeed. Ang umbalikon. There is only one who sets free. And whom the Son sets free, he is free indeed. And his name is Siginoong Iso Cristo, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one who conquered the grave. So now, he is the gateway to glory. He is now risen and ascended to heaven. And now, nagalingkod karon sa tuong kamot sa Dios nga mahan. And he has been given the name that is above every name. So that at every name of Jesus, every knee should bow. And every tongue should confess to the glory of God the Father. Now, basa usab ang libro ni Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 5. And it says there, God never fails. Also in Hebrews 13, 8, ang Dios maoragihapon kaniyanto, karon og hangtods kangturan. God the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, of course, God does not get tired of you because He loves you so much so that He sent His Son to die for you. How priceless our Savior is. How faithful God is to you. Will you receive Him as your personal Lord right now? Salamat o Diyos ni ining grasya nga mo na dawat ang kasayuran o kamaturan gikan sa imong mga pulong. Salamat o Diyos, hinahot nga. Ang balang Espiritu Santo maga dugang o glamdag ka na mo ni ining mga butanga. Salamat ni ining among ministry gamita lamang kini in a mighty way and according to your will. Salamat niya mo Bible study through the YouTube sa Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry. Kining tanan among gipasalamatan sa ngala ni Ginoong Kristo. Amen.